In this video, I'm gonna teach you about my favorite marketing technique. It's called spotlight marketing, and it's just been the number one technique I've used to be able to advertise my business. It actually gets customers coming to me, it gets them putting links from their website to my website, and it makes them wanna share with their friends my website. It makes them wanna share with their friends what's going on in my blog. If you don't believe me, trust me, just watch this video and you'll see why. It's actually pretty common sense once you think about it, but not a lot of people are doing it. So here is Spotlight Marketing. The video you're about to watch is actually an excerpt from my new course, the 25K e-commerce profit plan. And that's a complete e-commerce course that teaches you how to go from an idea all the way to having a successful, profitable e-commerce business. If you wanna find out more about the 25K e-commerce profit plan, you can click up here. But now let's get into this video, which once again is one of the lessons from the course. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about my favorite content strategy, and it's spotlight marketing. It's something that I invented as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong. But basically, this is the only kind of content I really put on my blog. And as you can see, this is my Google Analytics. I get a decent amount of traffic to my website, and it's all from spotlight marketing. So spotlight marketing, the main driver to my blog, it's the main thing that I use to get traffic to my blog. And I get between 10,000 to 35,000 people to my blog a month, which is pretty good considering I'm not really doing a lot of work. I don't create any of the content. I have 100% of my content outsourced. And I'll talk about the step-by-step -step on how I do that later in this lesson, but I haven't written an article for my blog since 2013. So to get 10 to 35,000 people to my blog a month, it's pretty good. So the next thing is you interview your customers. That's how you do spotlight marketing is it's all about interviewing your customers, which in return gets them to your website. So that's a huge benefit. You interview them, post an article about them, and then they come to your website to read it. So it's an easy way to get traffic. A good thing too you can do is interview influencers. So you can interview your customers or you can also interview influencers. If there's someone that is really big in whatever your community is, so I sell dance clothing in my community, you know, obviously if you're a, a dance teacher, like a really famous dance teacher, or dance choreographer, and I interview you, that's pretty cool for a lot of reasons. One, I'm gonna get on your good side hopefully and you're gonna to wanna to share my content, but it's also just a good way to connect with influencers. I've been approached to do, be on other people's spotlight marketing and if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't know who they are. But then after that, I know who they are and I think, oh, okay, this is a cool person. I potentially would wanna do them a favor in the future. So you can interview your customers and interview influencers. And when I say interview your customers, I mean your soon to be, your prospective customers. So here's some of the benefits of spotlight marketing. We already talked about some of them, but basically it's content for your site. The reason I invented this was because I didn't want to write about dance clothing. I don't like dance clothing. I don't care anything about it. And I didn't want to write article after article. And I know you need to do content marketing if you want to have successful SEO, if you want to have a good SEO strategy. So it's content for your site, very little work on your part. The next thing is that your interviewee will actually share it. So if you were to get interviewed by some you know, blog, let's, let's actually just say for a newspaper, let's say the LA Times or New York Times or whatever interviews you, you're gonna share that with your friends. The same holds true for blogs. A lot of the times when I interview a dance studio owner, they share it with everyone that they know because it's a big honor and they wanna share that honor. They wanna you know, show how cool they are indirectly and I allow them to do it because they're not really bragging. They're just, they're saying, hey, by the way, you should go check out my article. So it's like a subtle way for them to brag. And the, also the other really cool thing about this, speaking of SEO, is there is potential for backlinks. So if I interview a dance studio owner on my blog and she really likes it, what is she gonna do? She's gonna put a link to that on her blog showing people like, hey, uh, you know, we're a legit studio. We, we actually get a lot of press. The same holds true for you. If you have B2B style customers or customers that even have websites, this includes influencers as well, there's an opportunity to get free backlinks to, to your site from high quality sites that are also very, they're in your niche. And we talked about this in the last module, getting links from sites that are in your niche is hugely, hugely helpful. So I recommend, there's another reason why I recommend doing spotlight marketing. Another thing is you get to create a connection with this person. If I interview a dance studio owner and she really likes the article that we put out about her, well, that's the starting blocks to creating a relationship. I've actually used this a bunch of different times to interview people, you know, for personal, my personal podcast. And in my personal podcast, after I interview this person, what ends up happening? 
well, the next time I see them at a conference or something like that, we have an instant connection because we know each other. And I can email them again a few months later and say, hey, by the way, how are you doing? I hope everything's good. So this is the start for creating a good connection. So let's go back into some spotlight marketing. If you wanna figure out how you can actually do it, a question you can ask yourself is, if you only had one customer, so if you only had one customer, who would that customer be? Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, what about if you had a thousand customers? If you were only allowed to have 1,000 people in the entire United States, who would they be? Now, keep in mind, they're probably gonna be influencers. If you can only have one customer or only have a thousand customers, it's probably gonna be someone really important. I know if I could only have one customer, it's probably gonna be you know, someone from Dance Moms or something like that. Um, maybe it's Oprah or you know, some really big influential person. A thousand, if I could have a thousand customers, you know, there, there'd be some influencers in there, but it would also be dance studios. Who is it for you? Who are the thousand most important for you? Interview those people. Interview those people, get them to your blog. It's a, a free way to get the highly targeted traffic to your website. So yeah, interview them. So how to do this? This is the crucial step that a lot of people wanna know and let's talk about it. So the first thing is to figure out who to interview. After that, you can get your virtual assistant or do it yourself. I hired a virtual assistant, which is someone that I pay in the Philippines um, and it's relatively inexpensive, obviously, because in the Philippines, they don't make a lot of money. So I'm, I'm actually able to give my VA a decent salary. So you can hire a VA or do it yourself and compile a list of these people and get their emails as well. Then what you do is you can use, you can either individual, individually email them or you can use mail merge and mail merge is a way to mass email people like basically automate it it's i don't know the legality of it i think it's as long as you're doing it in a non-spammy way you're able to do it so if you were to have a csv file which is like an excel spreadsheet file of all the emails you could send out emails automatically using something called mail merge i'll let you google that if you want to learn more about that but Anyways, the, the point is you figure out who to email, get their email, email them, ask them for the interview. Now for the really step-by-step, -step, this is how you do it. First, email them, ask for permission. What's gonna happen after that? If they say yes, email them questions. So I prepare about six to seven questions in advance, you know, things like tell me about your studio. Um, try to keep them as open as possible because I, I don't wanna have to do custom questions for each person. Maybe with your business you will need to, I don't know, it's up to you. But so if they say yes to being interviewed, email them with a bunch of questions and tell them, you know, you know, take your time, fill these out when you get a chance. Also ask them for pictures and maybe they won't wanna provide pictures, maybe they will. With dance studios, they wanna provide pictures because they wanna make sure their perfect you know, pictures are posted up. Maybe with your customers, they're not as interested in that. Next step is when you get a response, um, you can either post that response just in like a Q&A style, like it could be, you know, question one, tell me about your dance studio in one minute or less, and then you post their answer. Or you can send that to a writer, and you can find writers on Fiverr for five bucks for a 500 word article. Um, there's other ways to do it. You can also do it through Upwork. You know, there's a bunch of different ways you can find writers. So you can either post the Q&As or hire a writer to turn those Q&As into an actual article. Uh, once you post it, you can actually email them and ask them to share it. This is a crucial step. You want to email them and say, hey, by the way, your article is live. And at the same time, ask them if they're willing to or ask them if they could share it. Another tip for you is to post it on social media. So this is a little post I did about um, this was someone we interviewed and on Facebook, we did this post promoting it. And so what I asked her to do was, hey, do you mind sharing this around? And as you can see, it got a decent amount of likes. It got 1500 people saw this. Which you know, on Facebook, since I only have about 3,500 likes, 1,500 people seeing it's pretty good. That's a good percentage of reach. So that's a, a big thing you can do is post it on social media and ask them to share it. And it also makes you seem more legit. When you have this kind of thing done, it shows that you're putting a little bit extra effort into it. You're a legitimate company, that this really is a big honor. I do have a whole course. I could talk about spotlight marketing literally for hours. I do have a whole course on it. If you want to get the course, you can click below. There's a link below this, um, but I, I highly recommend the course. There's a lot of more in-depth how-to. I give templates and examples on all the different things that I send, how to come up with questions. Just there's, there's so much content. I know this video is already getting pretty long anyways, so I don't want to dive too much deeper into that, but I do have a bonus section for you guys. 
and it's to do a top post. So one of the posts that I did, and as you can see in my Google Analytics, this is the first time I did it, and then the second time I did it, um, what I did is released a top 50 dance studios in the United States. The first time I did it, I think I got like 15, 20,000 people to my blog, like that, that's that big spike. And then the next time I did it, I got 12,000 in one day, but like over the course of a few days, it was around 30,000 people. It was just insane. So I recommend trying to do some top posts. Um, I noticed in my niche, a lot of people search for what is the best dance studio. Maybe in your niche, it's what is the best yoga studio or what is the best rave to go to or what is the best place to go camping or what is the best da da da. You know, there's so many. It's even better if it's something that you're highlighting an individual or a company. Because if you say, you know, what are the top 15 yoga studios, then all those yoga studios are going to want to repost um, your article. They're going to share it with their friends. It's going to go viral. So that is my last bonus for you guys. Do top posts. I highly recommend them. But general, in general, I love spotlight marketing. If you guys have questions on this, please let me know. You can leave it in the comments in my YouTube videos or send me an email and I'd, I'd be happy to answer it. So thanks for watching this and I hope you guys have some success with Spotlight Marketing. If you like this video, then you're gonna love my new e-commerce course, the 25K e-commerce profit plan. In it, I teach you the strategies and techniques that I actually use to build my own successful e-commerce business. We talk about how to set up a website, an e-commerce site that actually makes sales. Then we talk about how to get traffic to that site and ultimately I give you the tips and techniques on how to make it be as profitable as possible. We talk about things such as SEO, Google Analytics, everything you've heard about AdWords, it's all in there. This is really pretty much everything I know about e-commerce. I put in this one course. I was tired of people asking me, how do I get traffic to my website or how do I build an e-commerce site? And I wanted to just bundle it all up in one course. When you buy the course, you'll get free lifetime access to my private Facebook group. And on top of that, for the first 100 people that buy the course, I'll give you a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute consultation. You can go to effectiveecommerce.com or click up here now to buy the course and make sure that you get one of the free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions.